Hey guys, Loot Wizard here, and we're doing another video on Gems of War. It is the first day of the week, so we're going to be going over the Soul Forge, weapons, troops that you can craft, all of that stuff, the Glory Shop, what new troop we have, and there is a new event out, uh, and it is uh, something completely new with the new update for the game, so we're going to be checking that out as well in this video. So. Let's get right into it. Let's go head over to the Soul Forge first, as always. And let's take a look at the weapons first, and then we'll go to troops. So right away here, I see that we do have... Uh, it, it is the week of orcs. So orc troops aren't really the strongest in the game. They're pretty weak. Uh, and depending upon certain situations, sometimes if you have the right orc troops, though especially the legendary one, it will, uh, you can put together a decent team with it, but uh, it still is not really that great, um, even with that. So we're going to have weapons in the uh, Soul Forge here that are for the Orc Kingdom, Grosh Nock. So this is a new weapon here that I think is for the event. We haven't checked out the event yet, so I think this can be bought for gems in that event. So we'll check that out, but right now, taking a look at it, it will... Enrage an ally and you give 14 attack to them, boosted by orc allies, and then it will summon an orc. Now the boost ratio is 1 for 1, so that means that the attack, it all, the maximum that it can do is it will give 4 extra attack on top of that 14 that I have. So it would only give them 18 attack, which really isn't amazing, but it does have enrage, uh, and that will deal 1.5 times more uh, attack damage. Uh, and it will ignore traits, so that is uh, pretty significant. Um, summoning an orc, you know, that could be good or bad depending upon the the, uh, the orc troop that gets summoned. Uh, but um, scrolling down here, we do have the Doomed Codex, Earth Fury, and Spiked Mace. Now, Spiked Mace was a uh, an event weapon that was for a previous event but you if you missed out on it you could get it now uh we do have an orc class now so that is good we could so this weapon is going to be better than it used to be because your class can be that fourth troop and it'll generate more mana but i wouldn't recommend crafting this unless you do have enough diamonds where you're just trying to collect uh weapons that you don't have uh, but definitely the one that you want to craft if you don't have it is Earth's Fury. Earth's Fury uh, will eliminate all armor from an enemy and deal a little bit of damage, but then it will give all allies to attack boosted by armor eliminated. This is a great weapon for all sorts of events like Raid Boss, for um, things like Tower of Doom, and it can be useful in Delves as well. As well as PvP, it's it's still uh, you know a good weapon for PvP as well. Um, but Earth Fury there is definitely something that uh, if you have the resources to craft it and you don't have it yet, I would get that weapon over anything else here in the weapon shop. Um, so now let's go to troops, and we'll quickly go down the summoning stones, and then we'll take a look at the mythics. So for blue summoning stones, we do have. Uh, a few things here. I would say Lord Ironbeard is uh, powerful enough to craft if you don't have him, uh, especially since it is a dwarf. And if you do have the legendary card already for the dwarves, uh, High Forge, it will allow it to start with 50% mana. Its ability, it, it's pretty strong, but its very uh, uh, it, its strength is based on a enemy type. Uh, so it says here deal damage to an enemy and then it will deal triple damage if they use red mana And that's what I mean by type of enemy if the enemy is using red mana the, This troop will deal triple damage and if your magic is up close to 30 like mine That's 90 damage, but even considering like if you're a new player and you do get this troop uh, It will do triple damage to a red enemy. So Let's say you start out with like, uh, let's say you have 10 magic. Well, it will do 30 damage, and that's pretty strong when you're a newer player. So, and it has a pretty uh, low mana cost of 12. So I would say Lord Iron Beard is uh, worth trying to get if you don't have it yet. Um, but I wouldn't waste too many jewels on it. Again, that's uh, not something that you want to waste a lot of jewels on. 
Really quickly on its traits though, it does have uh, fortitude, it's immune to stun, poison, disease, death mark, and devour. So that's really good and it does reduce damage from skulls by 50%. So that's a, a troop to take note of. And uh, yeah, I don't really think there's too anything else there on blue. Green, um, you do have, if you don't have Leprechaun yet, it's one of the best troops in the game for generating mana because it starts with full uh, mana and it will explode gems and it also gains some gold. So uh, that's a really great troop. Desert Troll, uh, if you're trying to get uh, all the trolls, now's the time to pick this one up if you don't have it. Moving on to red, we do have uh, Merolith, which is also one of the best uh, mana generating troops in the game. It'll deal six true damage, and that's you're never going to boost that. It's a constant uh, six true damage to all enemies, but it will destroy uh, uh, gems according to your current magic, and then it will gain some attack. So uh, for me, it's 25, but the more you increase your magic, the more gems that it can destroy. And... Uh, it's in its traits it has fire link so it will be getting a bonus to red as uh, and it uses red so it's going to be gaining that bonus to red so if you're using a banner of like double red and then in, if you're using a class also that has a bonus to red within its uh, talents so that would be three to bonus to red and then you put this troop in your team or you could put two of them in your in your team and you can already imagine how much extra bonus red you're going to be getting uh, if you do that with this troop so uh, this, this troop is worth picking up if you don't have it. And yellow, I don't think uh, I can recommend anything in yellow. Purple. Yeah, other than trying to, it, like this troop here, you might want to try to get if you don't have it because uh, this is going to be probably used in a raid boss event whenever a uh, broken spire comes along again but we just had we just had a broken spire event so I don't know if that's going to come around anytime soon again uh, for what what is this uh, brown so brown summoning stones I would say there's two troops here that I think are probably worth it if you don't have them uh, um, Midge Swarm is actually a really good troop for early game when you're just starting out in the game. You uh, want troops that are going to do a pretty good amount of damage for low mana cost. And this is 11 mana. And uh, this will do scatter damage to all enemies twice. So let's say uh, your magic is like 12 uh, and you're early on in the game, maybe like level 100 to 200. This troop will do, if it, do, if it says 12 magic damage here, it's going to do that twice, so 24 damage, and uh, that's that's pretty good. So I would say Mid Swarm, if you don't have it yet, uh, if you're a lower player, it's pretty good. And once you get later on, you know, once you get to like level 4 or 500, 600, you're probably not going to use Mid Swarm uh, anymore. It's more of a low level troop, but worth trying to get if you don't have it. Uh, Seder Musician is a really powerful troop. Uh, I think it's pretty underrated. I still use it in uh, quite a few teams, especially Wild Folk, because that's what it is here. Um, uh, what it does is it will deal damage to the first two enemies, and then it will steal two magic from them and silence them. So silence is really, really strong. Uh, and there's only, I think, maybe two, maybe three classes that have an immunity to silence. So most... Um, most people that are using a class and their defense teams probably won't be using one that is immune to silence. So this is a, a really strong troop for silencing those hero classes that have these really strong weapons. So for instance, like life and death, it can be silenced uh, most of the time. So, and that's a really annoying weapon to fight. Uh, so Seder Musician is pretty strong just because of that silence. So... That's worth trying to get, even if you are a, uh, a player that's, you know, pretty high level and you don't have it yet for some reason. So that's all the summoning stones and my uh, recommendations for there. Moving down, we see there's some legendaries here, but I can't, I don't really recommend crafting any legendaries. Uh, although I will say, out of these four here, the Great Maw is probably uh, the better one. Captain Maw is unique in the sense that it does allow all rogue allies to start with 50% mana, 
but there aren't really that many great rogue uh, troops in the game right now. Um, it does, for its ability, it's, it, it does have a unique ability as well, that if an enemy is submerged, it will lethal kill them. It just kills them if they're submerged. Uh, so, but there really isn't a whole lot of troops either in the game that allow you to submerge the enemy. There's a lot of troops that allow you to submerge your troops, but not the enemy. So it's kind of hard to set it up where you can get a lot of instant kills with this troop. So I wouldn't, really, I wouldn't recommend crafting any of these uh great moss probably the best but i wouldn't craft any now moving on to the mythics here we have guards avatar stone hammer scorpius and at the very end here we have obsidius so i would say that obsidius is going to be the best mythic troop here out of these four that you're that you should craft if you don't have it um obsidius is up there with it's, it's definitely in my top 10 uh, mythics, and I use it a lot for a couple of reasons. A uh, couple of reasons why this is in. This is probably actually like in my top 5 of mythics, but uh, it's it's I don't know where I would put it in that 5. So, yeah. But what makes it strong for me, what, what I really like about it, and what ranks it high for me is that it will deal... Uh, splash damage and it will destroy a block of 5x5 five five gems and then there's also a 50% chance to do more damage and this is all splash damage so heavy splash damage uh, splash damage is going to do the initial damage to the target uh, the troop that you target and then uh, the splash damage it will do damage to troops above and troops below it so heavy splash damage is going to do like 75% damage I believe to the troops adjacent to the one that gets hit Light splash damage is 25%, I think. Uh, but it's going to do a, quite a bit of damage, and but that destroying mana is really important uh, because it means that it can generate mana for itself um, and for other troops as well. Now, the other thing that's great about it is that it does reduce damage by skulls by 50%, and it will stun all enemies on a 4 or 5 gem match. And that really is great. Stunning enemies is really, really good. Um... That allows you to control the battle quite a bit more. Uh, so, for example, if um, um, you know, stun is really good for uh, removing traits that, uh, like, if you have Gorgatha that you're fighting up against, and it's 75% skull damage reduction. If you stun it, then that uh, reduction of skull damage is just volanoid. So uh, the stun is, is really powerful. So that's what, one of the a couple of the reasons I really like Obsidius. Uh, another thing here to mention too is that it is an elemental. Uh, so if you do include the uh, Miraji Queen with it, it will start with half mana. So yeah. Uh, Scorpius is uh, another mention here I would say. Uh, Scorpius is still really powerful, but it's unique in that uh, it does need uh, a way to poison enemies. In order to do that lethal damage, there are quite a few enemies in the game that are immune to poison, so uh, you do have to be careful about that. Now, uh, this troop here is usually paired up with another mythic troop called Yurali, and Yurali will poison all enemies on a 4 or 5 uh, gem match. But if you already have Yurali and you've been waiting for Scorpius, now's the time to get Scorpius. Uh, and that uh, Scorpius and Uralee, if you have those two, uh, and uh, everybody has Mountain Crusher. So if you have that combination, you can uh, do those level 12 explore battles really fast. Uh, it's one of the fastest ways to do level 12 explore. So how I, how I would rank these is probably... Um, Obsidius is going to be number one to craft. Scorpius is probably two. And Stonehammer is probably three, and finally Guard's Avatar. Now, Guard's Avatar is still useful. Um, it deals damage to all enemies boosted by its armor, and it's a uh, two-to-one ratio, so it's half of all your armor. You can max out your armor at 1,000, so at maximum of 1,000 armor, Guard's Avatar will be doing 500 damage to all enemies. Uh, so it is, Guard's Avatar can be useful in uh, high-level delves. It can be useful in some events uh, where you can boost its armor up that high. 
Uh, but one thing to consider is that uh, Roain, which is a pretty easy troop to get, is half the mana cost because Roain only costs 12 uh, mana. And Roain does more damage than Guard's Avatar by because it has a boost ratio of by its armor of pretty much one to one, I think. Uh, pretty sure it is. So last time I looked at it, last time I compared these two Gar, or, uh, Guard's Avatar and Roain, Roain was just way more powerful. So that's why Guard's Avatar would be the fourth one for me here uh, as uh, Mythics to Craft. Okay, I've spent too much time <laughs> talking about that, I think. Uh, let's move on to uh, the Glory Troop, and then we'll go check out the new event. Uh, so this is the new troop called Brawlmaster Burnock. It will create eight red gems boosted by orc allies and enemies. Give one attack to all allies. Well, one attack really isn't much at all. Um, it is creating red gems, uh, so it's not creating gems for itself. You know, uh, and it's not going to be doing any damage, so this is really just a mana generator. And it doesn't start at full mana or half mana or anything like that. I don't know quite how useful this troop is going to be. Orc teams generally aren't great to begin with anyway, so I can't really give this troop any... Uh, really great recommendations, but uh, I will go ahead and purchase enough to get to Mythic here. Uh, it's going to cost me 6,400 glory, and we got that troop. Let's grab our Spoils of War here really quickly. Okay, so let's move on to the new event called Council of Chiefs. I have no idea. I, I, I know a little bit from the patch notes, but I have no idea, you know, what all of what's going to be going on here. So uh, let's take a look and read carefully. So we have a lore section over here, and uh, I don't think I'm going to read all of that right now because that's probably going to be boring. But we have a score here, and we have Orc Skull, 0, 10 points. Uh, so that's interesting. I don't know what they mean by Orc Skull, or, you know, do, are we going to have to connect skulls to get points? I don't know. Uh, it says my battles have four battles remaining, a medal, collect and equip this medal to gain bonuses in this event. So this must be the seasonal uh, medal that they were talking about in the update. So we have a fight, and it looks like here there's uh, three different locations here. We have Garnox Gang, Salzara's Shamans, Brawlmaster's Horde. Hmm. I don't know why this one is purple and these two are yellow-orange. I, <laughs> I have no idea what's uh, going on with that. It says at the bottom, earn points by winning battles and defeating bosses. Uh, so we have rewards here. And uh, as you can see, we do get some tokens going on in here. There's a vault key, diamonds, uh, some gold orbs. We have uh, vent keys, more orbs. And uh, looking at the shop here, it looks like we can... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna definitely buy a few of these just because it's gonna give us more event sigils But it looks like yep. Here's the uh, weapon. I was talking about earlier. It is in fact an event weapon So yeah, this looks pretty similar to like invasion shops and all that good stuff but let's go ahead and purchase uh, all the way up to get to the new weapon and we'll get some sigils to go along with it. And then we can go do a few battles and see what's up with this new event. Okay, I can already evolve uh, a badge. Okay, so we're getting uh, tokens uh, as we're buying here. It says right here underneath the tier that we're getting uh, so many tokens. So this is three tokens for this tier. 
and looks like I got two badge of chiefs so far and we'll get three more tokens here string of teeth is what that weapon is called and it looks like we have our first seasonal medal medal of chiefs I wonder if there's a separate place to equip those or if I need to uh, go all the way back I don't know uh, let's see here. Let's start at the bottom. Garnox Gang. And I'm guessing these start out really low. Yeah, really low health armor. Okay, so troop restrictions. Uh, we are restricted to the Grosh Nock uh, Kingdom for troops. So we got to select uh, all orcs here. First of all, we want to pick out the legendary here because this does start all orcs with 50% mana. So we're gonna throw that one in there. Um, and we probably wanna select a, a weapon, right? So this is gonna create red and brown gems. I think I wanna select a weapon that's brown then. And what are we going to select for brown? Well, I don't think I want to block the red. Hmm. Hmm. Or we could use... Uh... Okay, let me, let me see. Okay. So, yeah, I, I remember reading that in the notes that uh, they're also restricting what weapons you can use. So these are the weapons that are all available from the Grosh Nock Kingdom. And you can see right here on the card that it says Grosh Nock. So uh, yeah, we're pretty much restricted. Our weapon is restricted to the kingdom as well. They didn't used to do this with events. You could pick a weapon from any kingdom, any color. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. So I got a few things here that I could pick. Uh, spiked mace is going to be uh, something that generates mana as well and uh, or we could use this one here which was for the event let's take a look at what's here on the upgrades it says enrage and bleed give all allies two mana um, I think I might want to try the spiked mace just because that's going to do damage and generate mana and as for the class, I think we can pick any class. Let me just test this out really quick. Yeah, we can pick any class. So they didn't restrict class. However, I am going to use the Barbarian because that is an orc. And I want to get four orcs going on here. Cyclops is good because that will uh, do a lot of damage. And we probably want something else here that is red or brown now i could use a mythic but i don't know i've never really been impressed by the uh we can ascend this i've never really been impressed by the orc mythics there's two of them and i have both of them and they both suck so Well, this uses brown, or we could, this does splash damage, converts all yellow gems to red, so we could put that in there, and switch these around maybe, like that, banner, we probably want, we probably want double red brown. And yeah, let's just, uh, let's see here. We noticed you have an event medal for this battle, but it isn't equipped. Would you like to equip it now? Uh, yes. Okay, so then they take you right to this page. Medal of Chiefs. 160% uh, skull damage for all troops in the current event. Wow, okay. Uh, actually, I want to put that in the middle. Hang on. 
back, back, back. We're going to do this, this, because it looks better in the middle with the two cleanse on the side. All right, so that means I should probably focus on skull damage, but what the heck uh, orc troops do we have that even do skull damage? Shade of Zorn. Uh, Zorn does create skulls, right? Yeah, convert all yellow gems to skulls. Yeah, so why don't we put this one in here instead? Fist of Zorn. And is that the only orc troop that creates skulls? I think so. Wow, that's crazy. Huh. Well, we'll try that out. But yeah, uh, just wish we had a better uh, orc troop to create skulls, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, looks like we can create some skull matches right here. Orc Skull 2. Okay, so that's what that Orc Skull meant, I guess. You know, we every team that we defeat, we get a certain amount of Orc Skulls. Uh, so our score is at 20. This is level 20, then this is level 10. I'm still a little confused at <laughs> why there's three different uh, rooms here. That's okay, we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. We'll hit the raven first, because those ravens give us extra sigils. Got a couple extra there. We got two orc skulls. Uh, so then do I go to purple? I don't, I'm not really understanding if I go one battle each for each one of those three, or if I just do one until I get really high on it and defeat a boss. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but. Okay, we only got one orc skull on that battle. Why did this change color now? See, I, I, I don't understand what's going on with that. Uh, and I think it has a different name now. And it's level 10. I guess we'll just do a battle on it and see what happens. See if we can get it up higher. Three orc skulls on that one. Okay, what the heck's going on here? I just, there's f four of them now. <laughs> uh, Brawl Master's Horde down here. I don't know, should I just keep doing the purple ones? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, sorry guys, I'm kind of slow trying to figure some of this out. Uh, but it's all fun though. We'll see. We'll see what's going on soon enough. Hmm. 
See, now it went back to only three, and we lost that purple colored one. My score is 90. Overview, 90. I have orc, I have nine orc skulls. Um, Hmm. Well, that's uh, interesting. It's interesting that the skull damage is boosted by that uh, seasonal metal. I mean, I, I'm sure that they will have um, other boosts. Like, there could be something that boosts spell damage in a different event as well. I'm going to focus in on just one of these and see what happens if I just keep leveling that one up. Mm, let's see. Lots of yellow, but we only have, well, we got three. All right, we can do that. Hmm. Okay, what happened here? Zorn's Wraiths, level ten. Why did it transform? I don't, I don't understand what's going on here. You know, I'm expecting it to like level up higher. So I, they were level twenty, and then uh, they're changing colors on me, and they are uh, changing their name their color and it goes back to a uh, different level a lower level which is kind of weird because it's like in these events usually you're going to level one thing up higher and the battles are going to get uh, more difficult as you go on and now there's another one that just got added to this and then this one is now level 40 I'm just gonna keep trying to do the one that's the highest I don't know I don't know yet this this event is so new I don't know what kind of strategy to use Hmm. Let's see what happens now. Huh, that one disappeared. It's so weird. Well, you know, the object uh, is obviously to get your score as high as possible so you can get uh, all of these rewards. You know, you want to try to get up to stage 12, obviously, because you want to get that major orb of chaos. And, uh,. So I guess, you know, I'm just going to keep bouncing back and forth between these different battles to get as the, you know, as many points as I can. So, uh, yeah, uh, or pretty much you just got to make a team with whatever orc troops you have and uh, whatever weapons you do have uh, with the orcs. Now, uh, as I showed you, uh, we can just go in here really quick um, to your weapons. And they're gonna, it's it's gonna default to your Grosh knock, but good news is Mang is a really powerful weapon for events like this, and for events and PvP and lots of different uh, things. It's one of the best weapons in the game. Uh, so you probably already have Mang, 
So that's a good thing. So I would say if you don't have any of these other weapons like Earth Fury uh, or the there's this is the class weapon, the Orcs King's Club, Doomed Codex, uh, Spiked Mace, and well, you will probably get the String of Teeth if you have enough gems to buy up that far in the event shop. So you do have an option of that weapon, but I would say Mang is probably your most powerful, especially since uh, it looks like Skull Damage is going to be boosted this uh, in this event with that Seasonal Metal. And Mang, of course, boosts Skull Damage a lot, so that's going to be crazy. But uh, Fist Zorn looks like it's the only Skull uh, creating troop among the uh, Orcs, so that limits our ability to create Skulls. Um, yeah, so if you don't have really any orc troops right now, your best bet to get them is in the event keys. Because for this whole week, that kingdom of Grosh Nock with orc troops is going to be the only troops you're going to get from event keys. So the sad thing is, is that the two mythics that are there for orcs just aren't great. They're with the way, way bottom of the list of, of mythics. So I wouldn't waste a whole lot of event keys trying to get, uh, you know, anything really there. Just try to use with whatever troops that you currently have. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my advice on that. So I can't really show you guys much else because I haven't really figured out these events yet, but that's just kind of a, a short uh, little overview of me trying to figure it out. And, you know, I'll probably, I might post a video later this week once I got them figured out a little bit better. But anyway, this has been my uh, weekly video on the Soul Forge and troops and weapons to craft and the new weekly event. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.